Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Room 9. It is Dr. Sanders, and I'm here to teach you a little ELA and math to all my pre-K and K campers. But what do I always say? It doesn't matter if you're 2 or 102. You can have some fun. Fun. F-U-N. Fun. Also, you will learn something while we're doing room nine camp style. <laughs> Sorry, boys and girls. I was just thinking of all this sun just shining in my eyes as we chill here on the beach. Oh, we're not on the beach yet. But this week we're all talking, we're at the beach. We're talking all about things that have to do with the beach. And remember, I work at Adams Elementary during the school year. And in the summer, I'm just ready to have some fun. Let's take a look at our objectives for this week. In ELA, students will identify elements of a story, including setting, characters, and key events, and use numbers to show quantity and decompose numbers. All right. As you can see, I'm going to take off my hat and... Let's do a little counting. We're going to count from 0 to 100 by twos. From 0 to 100 by twos. I am going to start and then you are going to go. Are you ready? Here we go. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 14, 16, 18, 62, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100. We're getting, get, getting better, getting better. Now we're going to count from 0 to 100 by 5. The same way. Here we go. Zero. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-five. Fifty. Fifty-five. Sixty. Sixty-five. Seventy. Seventy-five. Eighty. Eighty-five. Ninety. Ninety-five. One. <laughs> Now I'm going to count from 0 to 100 by 10s. Same way, me, then you. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. <coughs> now let's do this together. We're going to count from 0 to 100 by 25s. 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. Let's try that one again. 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. Boys and girls, oh! We forgot to count backwards, didn't we? Let's count backwards from 10. Hold your hands up. Here we go. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift up. Let's fly to the beach. All right, say hi to the blue whale. Hi, blue whale. 
All right, you got to come back with me. We are now we are going to do a little math. We're going to do a little decomposing of numbers. I'm going to tell you and show you. I'm going to take my glasses off so I can see. The sun stopped shining a little bit, so I don't need glasses right now. So how can we get to the number five? What two numbers can we get to get to use to get to five? Let's see. That's five. Five and zero, right? So we have five plus zero. What else could we use? Three and two, right? We can three plus two will, will give us five. Let's see and make sure. One, two, three plus two more. If you take a look, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It's five, so three plus two is five. Uh, oh, somebody said four plus one. Four plus one more. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. So four plus one equals five. All right, I'm going to give you another number. You tell me what numbers we need to get there. Hmm, the number eight. The number eight. Yes, somebody, I heard somebody say four plus four. Four plus four equals eight. Let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, hmm, what else? Let's see, eight, if I had, what if I had five? Let's see, I had five. How many more do I need to get to eight? Five, okay, I have five, six, seven, eight. Oh, five plus three equals eight. Yes, seven plus one equals eight. Let's make sure. Five, six, seven. I have seven. How many more do I need to get? Let me see. Seven. Yep. One more. All right. Let's try a bigger number. How about 20? How about 20? Let's see. Hmm. 10. Yep. 10 plus 10. Let's see if that's right. Let's see. I have 10. Okay, put 10 up here, right? Put 10 up here. Okay, let's see. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I have 10 more. So 10 plus 10 equals 20. 19, 19 plus 1. 19 plus, 19 plus what gives you 20? 19. Put 19 in your head. Okay, 19. 20. So 19 plus 1 equals 20. Hmm. Oh, yes. We we're counting by fives. If you look at our number chart, we have 15, right? If we count by fives, what's our next number? 5, 10, 15, 20. So 15 plus 5 equals 20. I would like you to, you should practice and see what, think of a number and see how you can get there. So you can show me some more. Can you show me some more ways to get to 20? Ooh, maybe you, hopefully you can. And you can hope, share those with me. Share those with me through 9 PBS. Remember, have your parents take a picture of you working very, 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 very hard. All right, boys and girls, you've been sitting for a little bit, but you've been sitting long enough. Everybody, please stand up. Jump up and down ten times. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten jumping jacks. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right, let's swim for seven. Go.
All right, that's the freestyle. Let's do the backstroke for five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do the breaststroke. You know what the breaststroke is? We'll see. Here we go. Let's do the breaststroke for five. Go. <laughs> all right, all my little swimmers out there. Let's do the... Uh, Butterfly for three. Ready, go. One, two, three. <laughs> you got to make sure you're kicking your feet. All right. Boys and girls, let's do the uh, wave, the, the baseball wave for seven. Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. All right, let's sit down on three. One, two, three. Up, down, up, down. Sit right down on the ground, on the floor, or on the beach, or on the seat. Wherever you sit, let's just relax. Relax, relax. Today, we're going to read a... We've been uh, talking about the beach and the beaches by the ocean. We're going to read this book. It is called About Fish. About Fish. Some of these fish are found in the ocean. Some of them are found in rivers. Remember, we can have a beach by a river too or a lake. And if you want to send some of your beach pictures in, that would be amazing. About Fish. And the author is Catherine Seal. And it's in, illustrated by John Seal. The author does what? The author writes the words in the story. And it's what does the illustrator do? The illustrator draws the pictures in the story. In this story, this is a nonfiction story. So I want you to think about where does most of this, the setting, the setting, where does the story take place? So in the nonfiction book, it's kind of hard sometimes. But if you think about it now, you know where most of the, most, as if it's about fish, most of the story is going to take place where? And on land, man, have you, you ever seen a, flip, a fish out of water? Flop, 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 flop. No, it probably in water, right? So that's, let's see if that is correct. See if our setting is in the water. About fish. And I have uh, permission to read this book from Peachtree Publishing. About fish, a guide for children. Fish live in water. They may be found in nearly freezing water. Or in warm tropical water. This is a queen, an uh, queen angel fish. Fins help fish swim. These are the fins right here. If these are the fins, what is this? The tail. They can breathe underwater because they have gills. Gills are found right up in there. Fish protect themselves in many ways. This is a porcupine fish. Most have tough skin covered by scales. A long nose gar. The skin of a fish is slippery. Fish may be colored to look like their surroundings. If they look like their surroundings, what do they call? What is that called? Camouflage. Everybody say camouflage. 
or mark in other ways that fool their enemies. It's a butterfly fish. Many fish live together in groups called schools. Do you go to school? Some baby fish are born alive, while others hatch from their eggs, from eggs laid by their mother. Most fish eat meat. That's a large mouth bass. Fish keep growing as long as they live. This is a whale shark. It is important to protect fish and the places where they live. A yellowfish tuna. And yellowfish tunas are found in the ocean. So should we make sure we take care of the ocean? Yes. That, that, that means, am I supposed to throw this in the in the ocean? No. Am I supposed to throw it? I'm supposed to do what? Recycle it. Make sure you recycle it. Or even if you throw it in a river, say you're buying the Mississippi River, the Mississippi River flows to the ocean and it may get down into the ocean and then it, it can hurt our fish. So we got to keep all of our waterways clean, correct? Yes. About fish. Hmm. Which one was your favorite fish that you saw in the book? You like the angel fish? I like that. Yes. This is the angel fish. Oh, the rainbow. Which one was the rainbow? Hmm. Where can we find the rainbow fish? I'm going to look at the back of the book. They're going to tell me this on page. Four. On page four, we have the Rainbow Daughter. All right, boys and girls, and the setting was where? In water, because fish live in water, unless they're on your plate. All right, we have, we, boys and girls, we, yesterday, we made a scene of a beach. Today, we're going to make what needs to, for it to be a beach, it needs to be next to what? Water. So we're going to make water in a bottle. Yesterday, we made a water in a bottle. Water. Water in a bottle. Yesterday, we made the beach. So we're going to make water in the bottle. All right. To make water in a bottle, you need some oil. And you need water. I have a picture of water. You also need an empty bottle. I have a mouthwash bottle. And some small sea animals. And I'll tell you the directions. I'll put this up. So if you want to take a picture of the screen. But I'll show you what we're going to do. All right, here we go. First, we have our water. And I have a little tray right here to make sure if I make a mess, it spills. It doesn't spill on the floor or on the table, and I get in trouble. You should do this with a grown-up. Grown-ups, if you use a, this is an old mouthwash bottle. If you use a mouthwash bottle, it has child lock on there, so the if they can't take it apart, right? Otherwise, you can use a water bottle, anything you choose. The first thing you do is fill the bottle one third full of oil. About one third. And then.
And then you take the food color. We have blue because water is what? Blue. We're going to put several drops of food coloring into the oil. Then replace the top. And shake it up, shake, shake, shake it up, shake, shake, shake it up. We like that color blue. Let's put a couple more dots of blue in there. And I have never made this before. Usually, you're supposed to try things out, but we'll see how it works. Shake it up a little more. Ugh. Shake, shake, Woo. shake it till your arm's tired. Take the top back off. You see, nothing leaked. But if you use a regular bottle, like a soda bottle or a two liter bottle or something like that, you probably want to super glue the top or glue the top down, hot glue the top down. Then I'm going to take water and fill the rest of the bottle with water. Ooh, you see the waves? And after you after you do that, you can add your animals. I'm going to add a yellow shark. Uh-oh. He's too big. So I can't add my yellow shark. How about a killer whale? Oh, he wants to eat the bottom. And a whale is a uh, mammal. He comes up to the air for uh, coming up to the surface for air, but can't put him in there. But I do have some that I can't. I think fit. Let's see. We have a seal. Oop. We have a sea turtle. We're gonna call him a sea turtle. Then we have a dolphin, which is a mammal, comes to the air. Oh, my dolphin doesn't fit either, does it? We'll force him in there. No. We have crabs that are found in water. We have just a little fish. And we have a what? A starfish. Then you replace the top. And look, it's making what? You can't see my animals, but they're in there because they're deep in the ocean. But it makes waves. You can shake it up. Ooh. Ooh. All right, and now we actually have a beach. We have water. And we have sand. And now they're together, and that's our beach. Ooh, I would love to see some of your oceans in a bottle or your sand sculptures. All right. All right, let's count the letters in my friend's name, my friend's camp name's bubble. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Let's clap the syllables. Bubble. Oh, one, two. And whose name is this? Mango. Let's count the letters. One, two, three, four, five. Clap the syllables. One, mango. How many syllables? Two. And whose name is this? Fidget. Hey, Fidget. Let's count the letters in Fidget's name. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's clap the syllables. Fidget. And whose name is this? Tangerine. Let's count the letters in Tangerine's name. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's a lot of letters. Let's clap the syllables. Tangerine. How many syllables? Three. And whose name is this? B. Let's count the syllable. <laughs> Let's count the letters. One, two, three. Let's count the syllables. B. How many syllables? One. I have, you saw my ocean in a bottle? I have a little well that was hiding, but he needs to get in the water. So let's take my top off and add my little well. <laughs> Put the top back on. Put some waves so he can swim out into the ocean. All right. Boys and I'm sorry, boys and girls, let's say these sounds in a word. A, what's let them what sounds do they make? A and A. Like an A. We did some adding earlier. And able. What sound does L make? L lip. Lip. Point to your lip. H. What sound does H make? <sighs> Hippo. Hippopotamus. What letter is this? W. What sound does it make? W like in walrus. Walrus or water. And what, so what, what letter is this? J. What sound does J make? J, J, J. Like in juniper. And it's time for us to spell our favorite word. What is our favorite word? Nine. Let's spell nine. Nine. N-I-N-E. Thank you for being in room nine and enjoy the, the, the world, the region's largest summer camp. Bye-bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.